You are now listening to High South Child Time with Bill Javay, the boss lady J. Only on GMT Radio, every Monday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. You know what? The first time I saw a big Mensa was uh, Nick Cannon's Wild and Out. It was the first time you were on there, and you did the performance like at the end of the show. And I, just young kid bouncing around stage. I was bucking him up on the freestyle on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this journey from then all the way here is it? Did everything go exactly as planned? Is this? Is this? Uh, is this whole part of the blueprint? Are you surprised where you're at now? Or, or? Uh, you know, I've been working on music for a long time and been through a lot of things in my real life that gave me perspective to be able to just talk about things in music that everybody's not talking about. And so I feel blessed to be where I'm at and to be able to be a voice for a lot of people that don't have to when did your heart match up with your lyrics? You had talked about that in, a, in a, another interview, how it, it wasn't like that before in the beginning, and it wasn't until really you had to go through some st- some stuff, you know what I'm saying, and now your your heart is matching up with your lyrics. Was there a moment in time where that it triggered something triggered in your mind? Was there a, 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 some, some catalyst that happened where you you're saying, I'm going to use this voice for, for other things besides just what everybody wants to hear. Well, you know, I started off, when I started off writing, writing raps, I was I was writing raps about what I saw, a lot of social commentary from day one. That's about 10 years ago, nine years ago now, when I started writing raps, you know, high school, 15 years old, something like that, 14 years old. So I was always rapping about these things that I would see, and that's really what I rap about now. It's very just observational. Obviously, I have more life experience than I did 10 years ago. But I think this was always kind of my mission. There have been different times when I kind of strayed from that path. But for the majority of the time, I've been making music. It's been. You said that hip hop, you know, kind of reflects where we are as a people. What? What would you say hip hop is saying right now about us as a people? What would be the commentary, if not your own, if hip hop in general? I think hip hop will be saying a lot of different things. You know, I think a lot of it, uh, a large part of it would be saying that we're misguided and we've forgotten what's important. Um, But, you know, then there would be other parts of hip hop that would be talking about forward movement, and that's like Hope's album, yeah. um, you know, like Kendrick's album, but you know, it's, it's just representative, I think that in general the trends would say that like people are using a lot of drugs, self-medicating from things, that right. there's a lot of like repressed emotion, if I had to like be a psychiatrist and <laughs> diagnose hip hop, I would say that you know, I see. Hurt, covering some shit up. Yeah. Hot seat, real, Theo. Let's get into the hot seat. So let's get into the hot seat. First, I'm going to drop some names. You tell me the first thing that comes into your mind, a phrase, word, or whatever. These are some people that are important to your heart. Here we go. Why are you Hugh- looking at me, though? <laughs> <laughs> look at that, boss. You look at All right, here we go. Huey New. Revolutionary. Osha Monet. Her name's Aja Monet. Aja Monet, excuse me. Paul Whit. Jay-Z. Icon. Malcolm X. Mm. The first. The first. All right. Top five new Chicago rappers that we need to be we need to be put on on, on Game About. Joey Pert, Tokyo, Kami, um, I like a rapper named Valet, 
B-A-L-E-E, and uh, Sterling Hayes. Sterling Hayes, favorite historical figure quote. Hot seat, baby. <laughs> he got one of them. I have this quote on my arm by Asada Shakur that says, love is my sword and truth is my compass. You look like an intellectual man. I'm sorry. Ladies, listen. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, card cracker. That skip. What was the underlying meaning of that skip? Uh, there's so much stuff I want to ask. I don't know we're running that time. But what the card crack, what was the underlying meaning of that skip? Uh, man, one of my boys, uh, not my friend anymore, but one of my people I grew up with actually cracked my card and bought a bunch of ridiculous shit. <laughs> so that? Yeah. And so the whole situation is really like rooted in reality and you know clearly I exaggerated it. Rage, that visual is crazy. Did you hurt yourself doing that? Because I know you does like crazy stuff. You jumped off an electric pole to get into a concert one time. No, I was all good. I didn't hurt myself. That was a crazy physical video. Give me this J. Cole tight T.I. type. Hip hop you know, is back, it's, man. It's, like, it's, it's a real good feeling. So, yeah. salute to you for being able to do what you're doing and hold your head and do it like it's living. You know what I'm saying? Word up, I appreciate you for the support. <laughs> I guess we're wrapping it up, man. Shout time, GMT Radio. Shout time, GMT, man. I appreciate it. Big message. Now listen to the hype sound. Shout time with Steel Debate. Boss Lady J. Only on GMT Radio. Every Monday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m.